Okay, today we're going to be doing a compression test on the, uh, the 3.1 liter Pontiac um, Grand Am. Uh, this procedure is the same on all vehicles, so uh, it's not really a big change. A couple things before you get started. You want to make sure the engine is warm, not hot, but warm. You want it at operating temperature, just the warm, not hot. And uh, obviously you want to know why you're doing the check. Uh, reason to do the check, uh, you're losing coolant, um, you know, blown head gasket, what have you poor performance, uh, that kind of thing. Um, I'm losing coolant on this vehicle, which I'm 99% sure it's the lower intake gasket, but I want to go ahead and do a, because uh, I can actually see it coming out of there, but I want to do a compression check so I can see if I'm going to actually have to replace the head gaskets or have the heads melt down as well. So, But the lower intake manifold is a very common uh, fault on this vehicle. So the first thing you want to do is remove your plugs, or your wires, I should say, and you want to know where they go. So I like to mark them. I just put a little number on them. The way I mark them on um, this particular motor, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't even unplug them from the coil. So um, and you can see I just put a little marker on them. Uh, there's three, two, and then uh, one right there. And the other side's four, five, and six. Okay, next step you want to do is remove your plugs, which I have yet to do. I'm going to do that. Um, get your plug wrench down in there. Um, there's your plug socket. It's actually got a piece of rubber in there that grips the socket or grips the uh, plug so it doesn't fall out. Be sure not to cross thread anything. So you want to remove all the plugs. Next order of business would be to um, unplug your coil pack. And with this vehicle I've actually got the coil pack taken off because I'm going to have to uh, do some other work to it as well. So obviously this would normally be back here. I've just got it sitting up here. But it simply unplugs, so if you're, uh, if you're not wanting to uh, take it off, because you definitely don't want to do that, it's just more of a pain. Um, there's two plugs, which are right there, and they simply plug in right there in the coil pack. And uh, that disables the ignition, so the car doesn't actually try to, to fire when you're doing the uh, compression check. Um, we're going to go ahead and remove these plugs, and uh, after that we will show you the next step. Okay, the next step you have to have a compression tool for. Uh, compression tester. Uh, quick disconnect. Got this hose. Typically they come with a couple of sizes. Come with this, this one and a little larger one. Uh, this vehicle takes this one. What we want to do is we want to thread this into the uh, spark plug hole. want to make sure it's got a little oil on it. These holes are a little recessed so it's, uh, you can't really grab it. You got to kind of grab it by the hose and turn it. Okay, once you've got the hose on there, simply uh, quick, dis quick connect, actually I should say it's a compression tool, just like a, uh, a uh, compression tool actually. So next thing you want to do is you want to go in the vehicle, you want to hold the throttle wide open and give it about five ro revolutions of the motor, five rotations, not five pumps, not five on off on off, one continuous start, five uh, Revolution. So we're going to go ahead and do that. There you go. And four to five should be good. Uh, let's test that again. zoom in a little bit on here so you can see the compression gauge and actually this is typically a two-man operation so this will help me to go back and look and see what my actual compression was. See if we can zoom in on that. There you go. And four to five revolutions. Again. about uh, 119 which is right on the edge to uh, release the pressure there should be a blow off that's all there is to it and you move to the next uh, next cylinder and once you're done you should have a 
compression reading, not more than 10% difference per cylinder. So we'll go ahead and do one more here. We'll go ahead and do this one. And this is the trickiest part of it, is actually getting this uh, nose threaded in there. Good. Make sure you can see that. There you go. This one's a little bit more. 121 that's actually pretty good um, as far as them being consistent with one another that's really not that great for the compression reading on the motor itself I believe these new get anywhere from 140 to 160 so it's got 160,000 miles anyway you do that for the next uh, four cylinders and if you have any variances more than 10 percent chances are you may need some new pistons and rings if you have uh, really low compression you know, you got 70 on one, 60 on one. Chances are you're going to need a new head gasket. So far, we're looking good on this cylinder, this side of the uh, motor. And uh, that's about it. Please feel free to rate, post any questions, comments, concerns, um, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always, thanks again for watching.